Continue broadcasting and monitoring all subspace frequencies. Yes, sir. They have locked in on us, Captain. Readings indicate definite laser weaponry. 60 seconds till they can be fired at us. Our own deflector screens can handle anything they put at, I assume. Of course, Captain. Still no response, Captain. Cease broadcasting, Lieutenant. Maintain surveillance of all frequencies. Yes, sir. Collision course, Captain. Impact in 10 seconds. Lasers preparing to fire. Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Hansen. Collision course again, Captain. Apparently they don't like us. Apparently. If this is the way everyone in the neighborhood reacts to strangers, it's no wonder all these worlds were destroyed. They're persistent too, sir. The ship is returning again. How long can they keep this up, Sonak? I would estimate not more than five minutes, Captain. No laser device can continue to produce that level of power for long. Not without beginning to seriously malfunction. In addition, their repeated course changes are straining their power source and the structure of the ship itself. Very well. When their weapons become inoperable, perhaps we'll be able to talk. Anything this time, Lieutenant Gibson? Nothing, Captain, but that last transmission was very complex. Lots of information contained in that four-second burst. They're telling their friends about us? A distinct possibility, Captain. Sir, the ship is attacking again. This will be its last run, Captain. They are deliberately inducing an overload. All matter and antimatter fuel will be simultaneously converted to energy in 30 seconds when they are at their closest range to the Hannibal. At that distance, our shields will not be able to withstand the energy release. Mr. Hansen, shields down. Down, sir? Transporter room. Lock on to occupants of attacking ship. Shields down. Transporter's locking on. Explosion in 10 seconds. Got him. Maximum warp and shields up. 